Hey guys, back for uh, another box opening. Just picked this box up today from my friends at Cuban Lose. Um, this is the Cohiba Medio Siglo. Um, this is a 4x52. Cohiba, renowned throughout cigars. Um, this line, this this size itself, this Vitola was actually created for the 50th anniversary of Cohiba back in 2016. Um, it is part of uh, the 1492 line or La Linea. And Medio Siglo is the size of cigar that basically combines the girth of the Siglo 6, which is 52, with the length of the Siglo 1, which is a 4 inch. Um, it's considered the ideal size for your convenience and time of smoking and flavor with the thickness. Um, Cohiba historically was created in 1966 specifically for Fidel Castro. Um, it's made at the historic El Laguito factory and initially was only found outside of Cohiba as a gift um, for, for visiting dignitaries or heads of state. The initial line of Cohiba came in three sizes, the Lancero, the Panatella, and the Corona Especial. Until 1989, the first addition of sizes to the brand, the Robusto, the Exquisito, and the famed Esplendido uh, were added. Combined, those six sizes were referred to as Linea Classica, or the classic line. Until 1992, when Habanos launched its newest range of sizes, which is called the Linea 1492. When you hear 1492, you're thinking of Christopher Columbus, and that's what it was for, to celebrate his voyage to the Americas. And each size refers to 100 years since the discovery of the Americas. So you had Siglo I, Siglo II, Siglo III, and Siglo IV, and of course Siglo V. Um, the Siglo VI was introduced a few years later in 2002. So the Cohiba Maduro since then was launched, the Maduro number no. 5 was launched in 2007. So unique among all Cuban cigars, the Cohiba Filler Tobacco, which is the created from the Seco and Ligero uh, portions of the plant, they experience a third fermentation in barrels, and that creates uh, a silkiness to the leaves and uh, smoothens out the blend quite a bit. So um, that's a little bit of history on the Cohiba brand and this Siglo, Medio Siglo, um, which I'm going to open for you now. Uh, again, just got it today. It took about eight eight days, give or take. I'm trying not to shake the camera, so I'll pick this up from the container, but before I take all the plastic off, just give you a little side view. And thanks to Cuban Lou's, sealed within this is a nice little boba pouch. Keeps them fresh during the transit. Not many uh, retailers do that, and it's definitely appreciated. Um, and it's why I go to them constantly. And I can keep those for travel whenever I take my cigars on the road. So this is a brand new box. Um, this was packaged, uh, not brand new, but February of 2020. Um, and there's your stamp for the factory code. Turn it over, there's your Republican of Cuba stamp for authenticity. There's the code, so if you ever get your cigars, you can look them up, verify their authenticity, which they always are from Cuban Lou's. One little cut here. Should allow us the opportunity to to tight fit. Right, open. Man, this is the smell all 
already. I didn't even get the lid off. Um, just super. You'll notice this is, uh, you get two special uh, certificates of authenticity from when you buy a box of Cuba uh, Cohibas. So there's your curl from the rice paper as soon as it hits the, the humid environment. And there's your standard Habanos certificate. Um, there's your label that comes on your Cohibas. And there they are. Linnea 1492, 1492 line. And they are gorgeous. Nice, I'd say medium to dark, just slightly less, more of a, a sun-grown look than say a, a, a Maduro, which they're not. Um, but these are truly a treat that I've been looking to grab for a while. Uh, my last humidor tour, someone did come and I needed some more Cohibas, so now I have some more Cohibas in there. I'm um, looking forward to smoking one of these, but again, very young. February of 20, they were boxed, so even though they are aged a couple of years, um, they're going to need some time yet before I dig into them. But glad I can share this with you all, and any comments, please feel free to add them, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.